EPB's smarter grid, you've heard smart grid, but this we think is a smarter grid. It's not only smart, but it's also interactive and self-healing. Primary purpose, obviously, is to reduce outages, to improve reliability, but we don't consider ourselves finished because we know uh, that organizations like s and Electric that produce the Intelleruptor for us will continue to sophisticate and evolve that technology and we expect to do the same thing with our system as it's improved as the pieces and parts are improved we will take the system to a greater level the u.s if we are to compete globally the way we want to we've got to upgrade we've got to modernize our critical infrastructure that supports our business our job creation education and ultimately wealth creation in this country. We are proud to be part of this project and proud of the accomplishments of Chattanooga and the community here in their investing and their advancement of technologies. They are visionary, they are a leader, and we hope that they actually share their successes and advancements to the other utilities across the nation because there is a lot of values that consumers will gain from technologies and utility partnerships. This is, this is, as Joe said, one of the most advanced, most automated grids that there is. This Intelruptor Pulse Closer back here is quite a different device than the automated meters that are so commonly associated with, by the public with the smart grid. So these devices aren't just measuring and monitoring things, they're actually using onboard intelligence out on the grid to make decisions and to automatically restore power. And the really cool thing is, that homes and businesses can take advantage of this extra reliability without doing anything. This is, a, this is an important project because we have a problem to solve as a country. Most of a, this country's grid is 20th century infrastructure trying to meet 21st century needs. We all depend on reliable electricity more than we ever have. I'm going to tell you a few facts and I'm going to tell you a story. The switch that we're installing weighs just over 1,100 pounds. Crews like these that are here today working have installed between 5 and 15 a day. So they, they put a lot of these up in a very, very short time. Uh, this thing is hooked up to our fiber optic system through an optical network terminal that lets us communicate with it to, to load all of the uh, uh, data for how it operates, which is really incredible. Now let me tell you one little short story. When we were created back in 1939, we serve a little community down in Georgia called Hinkle, Georgia. The people in Hinkle did not have telephones. So in the old days, it was a pretty common thing for us to get a postcard that would say, the lights are out down here in Hinkle. You might want to come down and put the lights back on when you get a chance. Last week, we were talking to an industrial customer that was, had their plant out because they had seen a 70% reduction in voltage for one cycle. Reduction to 70% for one cycle. Because we had these interrupters close to it, and because they have waveform capture, we were able to look at the waveforms, understand what was happening, and help that industrial customer adjust their protective devices so that they would not lose power in that type of situation again. So we've gone from uh, postcards saying get down here when you can to one cycle, 70% voltage drop. Is that not a beautiful thing? Only an engineer. I'm not that home when we're right there. I can look out that window and see this lovely. What's a thing of beauty? It is indeed a thing of beauty.